Okay. Let's make this hinges, but first I would like to separate these parts. <clears throat> what do we have in here? Ah, oh, we don't need this anymore. Delete. Then go back to the this one. Select all these parts here. Control X. Go to this empty mesh. Control V. And I rename these to parts. Okay. Uh, maybe I start here. Maybe 1.8. Drop the two. And now, now I can unhide this here. Ah, uh, hide, sorry. And we don't need this. So, hit the B key for bevel. Bevel this in. And bevel it in again. and select everything, hit the E key and rotate it <coughs> 15 degrees. Now I can delete the inner part, select these two edges and bridge them, edge, bridge. Then I can Alt C with uniform Select these two edges Edge Bridge Do the same here Bridge these Then select this middle polygon here Hit the R key And Bring this out to here Select These Edges and hit the P key to put in a polygon. Now I need uh, a fall off radial. Make it a bit bigger, 1.1.9. 1 1.9 1 Go to perspective hit the tab key so we can see what we're doing the W key and bring this out like so you must be careful that you use ease in if it is uh, linear it will produce different results if it's ease out it will flatten here so the way to use it is easy. Drop the tool, get rid of the fall off. By the way, this method of making a surface produces much nicer surfaces than if we would have just beveled it in and then had a star in the inside. Uh, I think I have a separate tutorial on this. It's called uh, producing perfect surfaces with any even numbered or something like this. It's only a short one. So the set key. Now I go to perspective again. Sorry, was already. And hit the P key here. Go out of sub D mode. Select this polygon on the bottom. Hit the B key, bevel it in a bit, shift click, bevel it in again, shift click again. Now shift click on the blue handle and delete this polygon. I need an edge in here, so well, we won't see it, but like so. Okay. Now I unhide 
everything. Control Z. No. I need to bring this out a bit like so. Then side view again. Unhide everything. Go out of sub D mode here. and bring the interior also in out of sub D here as well so top view W, move this to here. I think we need this a bit longer. So edge mode, W key, like so. Like so, perspective. Let's bevel this so we know exactly where the middle of this wheel is. B. Here. So I can mm -hmm. bring this down a bit. Like so. Then I can take this one, control copy, control V, W bring this over to here should be on the right place is it no it's not now it's okay perspective again select these two then go to duplicate mirror over the set, apply, let's see, yeah, now we select everything except the wheel <coughs> and subdivide it by hitting the tab key, let's see how this looks getting better and better. Now there is one important part missing which is the flint. So let's see how this one looks. It is three parts. The middle part is the flint and here is probably well some brass thing and then there is uh, another part down here so let's try to do this get rid of mm. but first I think I have to do the same as I had to do here namely even these edges out. I will uh, hide the wheel, go to top view, yes. 
yeah, this will be, is it necessary really? No, it is not necessary. <coughs> I will pause the video here and try something out before I waste your time. <laughs> See you in the next video.